I find myself back here again, standing in front of the camera, in front of the Audi, with some more mods that I'm going to do to it. I never planned on changing this much stuff, but it just, things just happen. On these 2 litre TDI, some of them have things called swell flaps. Now, I'm not going to try and explain this myself because I'm terrible at explaining things, but I have Dark Side Development guide as to what swell flaps are. Swell flaps are small butterfly valves fit to the intake manifold. The swell flap position is adjusted by electrical or vacuum accutated servo mechanism controlled by the ECU. This all sounds very fancy so far and I'm trying to make this sound fun. Let me just summarise it. The flaps are closed on idle. As the engine speed increases, the flaps open to allow air through. That is what swell flaps are. Their purpose is to ensure that the air entering the cylinder is sufficiently turbulent for good fuel to air mixing. So the bad bits and why I keep swapping things out on this car, even though it's my daily and I don't actually, I never intended to be playing around with this car. And basically the flaps are known to degrade and eventually get sucked into the engine. They also leak and they make the performance of the car terrible because it's, it's like a vacuum leak almost. And it also covers the engine in a massive oil mess. So let's have a quick look and let's try and locate where they are. The only reason I know this is because uh, this actually had to get replaced when I bought the car. The guy said like, there's a big problem with the car. Um, I'm just gonna fix this up before selling it to you. And that was that this little vacuum module, which opens the flaps, had a split in it. It's a common fault, these things happen. My engine is once again down on power somewhere, so I'm not really sure what's going on, but this is in the intake manifold. The flaps are somewhere in here. So to solve this, dark side developments have come up with a great, great solution. And that is once again to delete them. With this intake manifold. This is one from a BKD. It doesn't come with the swell flaps. Should be a simple swap over to the new kit. So yeah, you can, you can see it's almost identical. It should just be a straight swap. This is what I'm hoping. All right, I, do you know what? I don't think we need a guide for this. It's just an intake manifold. All we've got is the EGR, which would be this side, and then it's connected to the rest of the engine block. So I assume take off the EGR and take off bolts holding it on. Should be fairly simple. Let's get on with it. Alright, so that should be the three bolts from the EGR valve loose. And there we go, that is the EGR valve disconnected. So I'm just going to leave that down there. Now we've got a better view of the inlet manifold. And you can see, well I can see, I don't know if you can. You can kind of see down there the amount of oily gunk that's coming out. So that's either from the gasket, which we're replacing anyway, or it's from the actual swell flaps. All right, and now we've got to figure out how to take this off. So I think there's just like a few bolts. If we look on the new one, uh, I'm gonna assume there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven bolts. Possibly 11 bolts. Maybe 12, 13. No, not them, 11. Let's, let's go with 11. Someone's calling a police helicopter to see if I'm doing more illegal mods. That's probably more interesting than this. I think there is a bolt in the actual, yeah there is, in the actual intake valve, there's a bolt in there. My tools are about to get dirty. Okay, we've got the bolt out. I'm gonna go wash my hands and I'm gonna go put some gloves on because this is getting dirty. So I can see there's another bolt here, another bolt there. Oh, there's one down there which I haven't loosened yet. Let's get that. Let's get them all out. Fucking bastard. Last bolt. Is it loose? 
Yes, it is. Okay, but now all that we've got to do is somehow uh, try and remove the vacuum agitator along with this bracket. So I'm trying to figure out what, what's the easiest way. Probably that one, that star head. So we can just bolt it back onto the new one. I've only undone that because I'm going to need it for the engine cover. That's the only reason why I'm saving it. Which is the same with this one. But obviously that's attached to a lot more things. Okay, where are we at? Right, so that does just pull out of that. And now this whole thing should be loose. I don't think there's anything else connecting it. Oh, that's it. Got the old gasket, which is bent. So I'm not going to reuse that. I'm now going to clean up that stuff. So uh, let's find an old rag and start cleaning it. So while that guy is cleaning up his engine, this is what the swell flaps are. So they're shut on idle and then when you put your foot down they slowly open up a little bit slower than what i can do but it's something along the lines of that and i actually thought it would be all of them every single intake but it's only four but they're the things which degrade over time now the only negatives about deleting these is that it's probably gonna have a bit more turbo lag it will probably lose a bit of power at the lower end of the rpm at the rev range it's like when I got the bigger intercooler pipes on the Golf, there was such a big turbo lag because it had to build up the pressure before it got going anywhere. It's probably gonna be the same with this because there's more gaps now, but we'll see if it drives smoother. That's what I'm hoping for. The whole reason I'm doing this is because in the driving video, it was hesitating a lot when I changed gear around 3K. Possibly these, I'm not sure, but I've been told nothing wrong with deleting these, so this is step one, see if it helps. And this is the new one, clean as anything, no swell flaps to worry about, nice and clean, no build up of gunk on the inside. Yeah, I can't wait to get this on. And it also comes with a fresh gasket as well. Now it's time to install it, and I think it's just gonna go exactly the same way that I took the old one out. Make sure the gasket's in the right place. I think we're roughly lined up. I can tell which bolt went in to the intake. It's that one because it's absolutely filthy. When I purchased this off of Dark Side Developments, the guide said that I'd have to do some modifying um, because it's a different intake. So you will need to cut something just to make it slot in perfectly. Thankfully, I didn't on this one. I've got the BRD engine code, which is really easy to remember for me because it's like my name, Brad, BRD. <laughs> So yeah, this is literally a straight fit. A straight swap, which is nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I think the correct spec is 20 Newton meters of torque. Give the car a decal. Okay, and I think we're done. I think we've put everything back where it needs to be. All the EGR bolts are tight. This hose is back in. The banner fold is nice and tight, as it should be. I think the last thing to do... Oh yeah, I've got to mention, you have to plug this. This was the vacuum line that ran to this thing over here, wherever I put it. This, as it got vacuum, it opens and closes the uh, valves, which attached onto that thing. And that opens and closes the valves. So it's sat like that and kind of, yeah, funny little thing. I'm gonna go get some clamps real quick just to tighten these up and then we're gonna start it and make sure everything's okay. Let's start her up.
bit of a rough start. I think it was just getting used to uh, the new bits. But now it's on, it's running smooth. Let's finally get this done. We've got the rear camera and the front camera just to spice things up. Um, let me just turn the radio off. This is gonna be starting it up for the first time and we're gonna go just take it on a test drive to make sure there's nothing weird going on, make sure you know there's no leaks. But most importantly, we're gonna see if the boosting issue has stopped. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think it will have done anything because I think there is definitely uh, a leak in either the diverter valve or, or a hose somewhere. That is my number plate light. <laughs> the number plate light is out. Again, number plate light, but that start up seemed a bit rougher. So now I'm thinking because there's no flaps to kind of soften i don't know i could be completely talking out of my ass but I, I feel like because the flaps aren't there to kind of soften the startup uh, it seems like what people were saying about the new mount people were saying that if you get the power flex uh, yellow snub mount it's going to make the car so much more juttery and you're going to feel the vibration vibrations a bit more maybe it's because i had an engine with the swell flaps i wasn't feeling that because the power was getting eased in quicker anyway let's go on a quick drive please just excuse the hair my hair's kind of a bit crazy i need to i need to get another haircut okay first impressions not much has changed i will update you guys when the car's warmed up so we can kind of rag it a little bit more just reaching 90 degrees so the oil temperature is probably somewhere along the same lines since the um, egr cooler isn't there it does take a little while for the coolant to get up to temperature but we're almost there it's not a bad day. It's been an all right day. That was a one series. So first gear pull away like normal seems fine. I just need to get far enough out so that there's not so much traffic. I was worried when I did all these things to the car, it was gonna sound stupidly, uh, I don't know, like loud, loud diesel noise. But it seems all right, there's a little kind of a chirp from, from the front, from the turbo. Okay, right, traction, traction control off, second gear. It's still slightly hesitating, yeah. It is still doing it. Whilst I remember while we're driving, if you are enjoying the video, please drop a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you've just been like lingering around the channel, watching a few of my videos, hit the subscribe button. I have something pretty cool coming out soon. Hopefully, if this sponsor comes through, I'm gonna be answering a lot of your guys' prayers. I'm gonna leave that down to interpretation. I'll give you a bit more of a heads up. It's gonna be like a series to do with a certain type of car but only if the sponsor that I'm talking to is okay with it because I need the funding to do it I want to do it but I need the funding to do it all right let's go see if it was doing it uh, I was just kind of like trying to softly open it up like uh, what you guys have been telling me I am taking your advice every comment I see I do read it and I do take your advice little tunnel can we hear the turbo no <laughs>
28.3. Nice. I haven't seen any police about. And there must all be at Staines car park. Oh, <laughs> speak of the devil. There he is. There's Mr. Policeman. And we're now following him. Okay, I really shouldn't have said anything. Uh, this is always so awkward, isn't it? Following a police car. Especially when they sit at 45 in a 50. Right, I am overtaking so that it doesn't look. Okay, now he's speeding up. Okay. Okay, now he's slowing down. So we're now creeping past at 50 miles an hour. And he's gonna see the camera. <laughs> Act normal. I'm not even doing anything wrong. <laughs> Policeman going past right now. Going into the right hand lane. I haven't checked for any boost leaks still because I just haven't. The car's completely fine unless I'm ragging it and changing gear every now and then it's, it randomly does it, but that's literally the only time it does it. I wouldn't say the swell flap delete has made a difference on power, but it's one of them things. I now know that my car isn't gonna go through the hassle of having to get a new engine if it ends up going wrong. Guys, I'm gonna leave you to it. Thank you for watching. Stay updated on my Instagram. That's where I'm gonna be posting about this new series coming along. And I know you guys will absolutely love it. Remember to leave a like, check out my Instagram, check out my Facebook page as well. I've been posting some small clips there just because it's, you get more audience there as well, don't you? So yeah, check out all of that. And I'll see you in the next video when I upload the Audi S3 video as good fun. Thank you for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.